YouTube. Um, I'm back. I haven't done a tutorial since my snowflake one just because I've been really busy with work but I decided to do this today. Um, it's a dramatic smoky purple eye and I decided to kick it up a notch with fake eyelashes and some really hot pink Barbie lips. Um, so if you like this look uh, and you want to learn how to do it then please keep watching. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, I'm going to get the tutorial started. Um, first, I'm taking my MAC 239, and I'm taking Satin Taupe as well by MAC. And we're going to be applying this on our inner third of our lid up to the crease, and then just start smoking it out towards the middle. And this is kind of be our base color, because as you can tell, we're doing a lot of smoky dark purples. So this is a nice... Um, refreshing kind of color because it's different from the purples but it's not as light as you normally would use for a highlight color on the inner corner so it's a little bit different and different is good because we don't want to have the same boring makeup that everyone else does okay and now after I just took my um, Elegant Faces blending brush and I just made sure that there were no harsh lines by buffing it out. So I wiped my 239 clean and now I'm going to be taking Nocturnelle. It's this color right here. And it's this really pretty um, plum raisin kind of color. And this we're going to be putting on the middle part of our lid. Except with the 239, you're only putting it... You're starting to overlap it on top of the satin taupe. So it's not any harsh lines. You're just starting to blend immediately with the placement of the color. You see how I'm going a little bit in? And then when I take my blending brush and I buff those two colors out, it's not going to be as hard to do so. So just like that. And then make sure your blending brush is clean. And start blending the two. Once you're done doing that, I'm going to take my Quo crease brush, and once again I'm taking my Dior palette. It's number 970 Stylish Move. I used this in my um, grapefruit and eggplant tutorial. And once again, we're going to be taking the darkest shade, that really nice rich midnight purple. And this we're going to start using to contour our eye. Start bringing it in, and we're also going to cut, start cutting our crease. So bring it in a little bit further. See that line? And it looks really ugly and harsh right now, but that's okay. We're going to blend it out. And then just start bringing this in. And this is just the rest of the color that we're using on our outer corner. And it blends really well into that nocturnal. So this makes your job easier. And now, once again, um, take your blending brush. This time, I'm using the MAC 217. Um, you may be wondering why I have two blending brushes, because I do have my Elegant Faces one, and then this one. But if you look at it, this one is a lot shorter and a lot um, unfluffier. <laughs> this one is longer and way fluffier. And because I'm doing such precise work, with such a dark color, I don't want to blend it out too much because then I'm going to have this dark blob of darkness and I don't want that. I want it to be very um, soft, not in color obviously because it's a dark color, but I want it soft, soft in application. So doing something with this brush would be a little bit too out there unless you have really good control. So I heard a lot of good things about the 217 and I decided to buy it. And I must say, it's it's a good brush. I'm really liking it. And for precise work like this, um, blending it out is very easy, but you have more control because it's smaller. So I highly recommend this brush. Um, so I'm just going to start blending that out and getting rid of that harsh line. And even that crease cutting that we were just doing, 
See how I'm smoothing it out and just flick it up to the brow bone and that way it won't be as harsh. And then we can further blend that out by putting our highlight color, which we will do in a second. So just keep adding little by little until you have it as dark as you want and until you get the color that you want as well. I'm just going to be taking my um, Quo crease brush once more. I just wiped it clean. And I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Professional Diamond Shadow number 10. The Black Shimmer Sparkles. Um, you can use Carbon or Black Tide. Um, if you are going to be using a black though, I highly recommend that you use Black Tide instead of Carbon. Um, we don't have anything matte in this look except for the liner on the very bottom. But all of the shadows that we have on our top half of the eye they're all shimmers so the black we're gonna be using to add depth as always um, but the black like I said it does have shimmer sparkles in it so it just adds and complements everything in that look but anyways I'm taking that on my point of the cool crease brush and just on the very outer part of my eye on the lid up to the crease and a little bit beyond it. And as always, start little, add more if you need to. It's easier to add than to take off. And then my 217, I just wiped it clean from that Dior color. And I'm buffing it and blending it in. Just so it looks natural and as if it's, you know, what's up, I'm just chilling here on your eyeball. <laughs> So once we have that done, I'm going to be taking my big fluffy Elegant Faces blending brush and I'm going to be taking my Naked Lunch, this one right over here, and I'm going to be using this as our highlight color. So it's just a beige with some really nice shimmer in it. Okay, and now I'm just going to um, do my eyeliner. I'm going to be using Jet Set from MAC. It's like um, Fluid Line and Black Track from MAC. This is also a gel cream, but I find it's a little bit more of a cream than a gel, and I like it for that reason. And I'm going to be using my Smashbox Angled Brush. I think this is number 20... No, it's number 12, not 28. Number 12. Um, because my Elegant Face is one, again, it's not thick enough, and it's not big enough. So I'm going to be using this brush. And then, as usual, I'm just going to go over it with the Encre Noir from Lise Watier. Um, I'm going to put on my false eyelashes, uh, my concealer, and I will come back to you in about three minutes. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm going to be taking my Sephora brand eyeliner. Um, this is from the Matte Collection in number 71. And I'm just going to be putting this on three quarters of my outer lash line on the bottom. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because you guessed it, we're going to be putting an eyeshadow on top. I'm going to be taking my 92 Makeup Forever Professional Eyeshadow. It's not the Diamond Shadow Collection, it's just a normal one. 92, right here. You have to have this color if you're serious about makeup. MAC doesn't have anything similar to it. It's a matte. It's gorgeous. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> and I'm taking this on my Elegant Faces Angled Brush. And I'm just placing it directly on top. So I'm back, I put on my face, then I did my hair, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to be taking Smashbox's lipstick in Flirty, Shabba that is like Barbie pink right there. I wish you all the best, um, I'm not going to be doing any tutorials for a while, just because it's Christmas and I'm going to be spending it with my family, but I will definitely do some looks for um, New Year's, if you're going out clubbing or just going to a party I will definitely have at least two tutorials for you there but Merry Christmas happy holidays um, and I will all see you later take care bye